When there's things to do, not because you gotta. When you run for love, not because you oughta. When you trust your friends with no reason, not a. This joy I've named shall not be tamed. That summer feeling's gonna haunt you the rest of your life. Hey, over here. When the cool mm. makes you drop down on it. There is nothing like a late summer afternoon boat ride and a PB&J sandwich on white bread. Mm, delicious. Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Thoughts Exactly. I'm having a great few weeks up here, up in Smallwood. Today, we decided to take the boat out. This nice little rowboat that belongs to our friend June. So we're in the middle of Smallwood Lake, which is actually called Mountain Lake. Now Smallwood is a community about 100 miles north of Manhattan, and it was built in 1928 by the Smallwoods. I, the wife's name was Ruth. <laughs> I can't remember the husband's name. But anyway, it's a series of log cabins of all different types. And this lake is a man-made lake, and it's called Mountain Lake, and there are fish in it, but I've never really seen one. This summer feeling will come upon you. Then that summer feeling will come. Oh, and there's this amazing blue heron that lives on this lake, and hopefully, maybe we'll get a little look at her. She is beautiful. I have a name for her. I call her Gertrude the Great Blue Heron. I actually thought of a children's book, which I may write. We're having a ball up here. We're here a few more weeks. And then we head down to Florida. This week we went to the Kanyanga Farmer's Market and I caught up with some of the vendors there. We had a great time and bought a lot of stuff, so let's take a look. Hi there, how are you? Hi, We're doing a day at the Kanyanga Farmers Market. Yes, it's a beautiful day in September. Is this all homemade, uh, handmade jewelry? Yes, I'm Lori Ray. I make most of it myself. There's some I don't, but I just made my new dragonflies on patina leaves. That's what they're beautiful. Thank you. Is this sterling silver? Uh, this one is lead free pewter castings made in the U.S. with uh, stainless steel chains. Mm -hmm. And then these are sterling. These I sell at the museum store at Bethel Woods. This nice. is vintage German glass. And I redesigned it into, I made it into that design. Isn't that gorgeous? That's the That's piece. Stunning. Done. I have a website, lauriray.com, and I'm part of the Bethel Business Association, Bethel Council of the Arts. Uh, my name's Corey. Um, yeah, I'm the, the farmer at Buff Meadows. Um, yeah, we actually, we're, we're running a little bit low on produce at this point in the market. It's been such a, uh, such a good day. How long have you been farming? Um, so really just this year has been our first year taking it uh, as an actual business. Um, since the pandemic, we've been up here, you know, pretty much nonstop for the last uh, six months or so. Yeah, typically we live in the city and then we came up the uh, early spring because of the pandemic and turned this into a full-time thing. That's wonderful. That's a great positive story yeah, yeah. to share with so many people that are starting new ventures and new careers and new new, new paths in life. And that's, yeah. that's amazing. And you're doing a great service by providing beautiful food for Thank people. You. Yeah, I think that's, sorry, I think that's been the best part is like getting to be more uh, entwined with the community and meeting a lot of people every weekend. Buff Meadows, everyone in Coshecton, New York. Well, thank you for talking thank to you us. Thank you. thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm here at Kip Kosin's table at the Kanyanga Street Fair. And Kip is this amazing children's author, and he has these fantastic series of books. Kip, tell us a little bit about how you started writing children's books and who the characters in the books are. Well, it all started with the t-shirts, which you see behind me. 
and everybody kept asking, well, you should be doing children's books, so I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. So this one here, Ned Visits New York, is my first book. And Who is Ned? Ned is a penguin that lives in the South Pole, and he decides he wants to go on a, he doesn't know where to go for his vacation. So he actually drops a bottle in the ocean, and wherever it lands, that's where he goes. Um, right here, that's Ned the Penguin. Oh, adorable. And what I love about this book is in the very back is a map, so the kids can see and learn about what they just read about. Here is the island, Times Square, Central Park, Statue of Liberty, and then a checklist of all those places. Now right around here is, I know Kip from the uh, Union Square mm -hmm. Market. Every year I see Kip down at the Holiday Festival. You've been doing that for how many years now? I have been doing Union Square for 26 years. Wow. Yeah, I did. I started it the first year, the first year it opened, and I've been doing it every year. But this year, I don't think they're going to have it because of everything that's going on. Exactly. Now, if you see Kip's table at any street fairs, farmers markets, buy his shirts. They're big hits with kids. I know I've bought many of them for kids in my life. The books are wonderful, too. And we're just going to get a couple of books because we have a new uh, nephew in our life. Kirk and I have a new nephew. His name is Redding, and he will adore these books. So we're going to pick up a few now. Uh, thanks for talking to us. And um, I'm going to get my wallet out, and I'm going to buy these books right now. Thanks. Look who we found at the market today, you guys. Hello, I'm here with the bride and the groom uh, at the Kanianga Farmer's Market. And how, where are you from? We're from Louisiana. We're from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Oh my gosh, and you just got married? Yes. We did, we Like did. yesterday or something? Uh, last weekend. Last weekend. These masks are amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Were they a gift from a family member? No, I No, got we them. got excited and, you know, we <laughs> wanted to show the world that uh, COVID can't hold back our wedding and our love for each other. And is this your honeymoon up here? And it is, it is. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yes. It's amazing. We love it. we love what are your names? Alexandra Burr. Alexandra and Jay. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you many, so many much. happy years, Ed. Thank the you. The two of you are a beautiful couple. We appreciate that. Hi, everybody. I'm with Hasina here. She's a, an amazing artist and she's got beautiful pieces. Hasina, tell us which is your favorite piece out of all of these on the table and tell us and tell us how you how you work. Okay, this is my favorite piece. Um, it's a scene with the boat on the lake with the sun shining, and I did this with my left hand. Um, I have a shoulder problem from painting so much, so I couldn't use my right arm, so I said, okay, I use my left hand, and this is the best. I love this picture. It's gorgeous. And, and what medium do you work in? Uh, acrylic. Now I know who your teacher is right over here. I'm looking at the wonderful Adrienne Walker. She's an amazing artist from New York and Florida. She has beautiful cards on the table, which she's sold a lot of today. And she's a great teacher and mentor, as Hasina will attest to. Thank you. So if you're ever planning a vacation in upstate New York, check out Smallwood. There's a lot of places on Airbnb and a lot of cabins to rent. I know our neighbors do uh, rent their little place next door. Next week we're having a lot of tree work done and some trees taken down, so I think Charlemagne Godfrey will be around for that and he'll be able to say hello. But thanks for watching the show, everybody. I hope you liked a little tour of the farmer's market. We'll see you next week on My Thoughts Exactly, and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye. Outside my window, a robin builds a nest. At last Twitter's gone. Way to rest Once again the leaves Have returned to the trees I can just